Hello, it's Greg from Hearing Products International and today I would like to talk to you about our latest TV listener um, called Echolink Pro. Um, Echolink Pro is now in stock, uh, available on our website or if you want to place the order over the phone that's perfectly fine. You can send us an email as well to info at hearforyou.com. Um, so yeah, let's start it and I will talk about this product a little bit. And also I would like to show you a few um, differences between new Echolink Pro and a model which is very similar but operates on different um, frequency, okay? Uh, so maybe we'll let's start what is the TV listener because some of you might not um, heard that before hear that before and just wonder what well, yeah okay what is this product for and who is the user of this product so basically TV listener is a, a product for hearing aid users but also for non hearing aid users because we provide the set neck loop and also headset so both both uh, users can use them um, depends like I said if if you are hearing aid user then you can use neck loop if not then use our headset which we provide in the set um, this product um, should be connected to your TV it could be connected through analog way so if you go old style TV then it's perfectly fine. You can use old SCART connectors, you could use headphone socket and also you could use like a phono phono outputs. But remember you need output on your TV. Don't mix with input because input won't give you any signals. So remember outputs, okay? Um, it's also compatible with the latest smart smart TVs um, because we provide optical cables with, um, with the set so it's like I said it's compatible you can connect Echolink Pro to your modern smart TV using optical output and again output on your TV okay um, please note that some TVs might need some audio setting adjustment uh, but obviously we, we've got this information in our manual and some TVs unfortunately might cut the internal speakers so before you buy our equipment or before you buy a new TV please make sure um, that this particular model which you have or which you are going to buy will not cut the internal speakers if you connect some products to optical output or analog outputs um, you should ask the TV manufacturer or customer service, they should be able to tell you or alternatively check your TV manual. Okay, so, so what you should do with this TV listener, so what is that? So basically you've got a small transmitter which will transmit the signal from your TV which you have to connect again through analog or optical, we provide both options with our transmitter that's a power input and that's a switch on off so this small transmitter should be connected to your TV and obviously power socket as well and if signal received from your TV it will transmit the signal wirelessly to the small handheld receiver so this small handheld receiver you can keep in your pocket, you can use the clip which is on the back to attach it to your belt inside and then what you have to do, you have to connect your headphones just in here or your neck loop for hearing aid users to be able to hear the sound. Um, Similar situation is already almost the same situation with radio 2.4 GHz. So again, you've got a transmitter which has to be connected to TV the same way like a Colin Pro. 
we've got small um, receiver, handheld receiver again, very, very similar, um, the same size, the same functions. So you still have microphone, built-in microphone in it, the same as with Echolink, you still have microphone in it, so you can enjoy conversation as well, if you wish. Um, but what is the difference between Echolink and Radiolink 2.4 GHz? As you can hear the name, the main difference is a 2.4 GHz transmit with 2.4 GHz um, carrier frequency, whereas uh, Echolink Pro using infrared. You might think, oh, what is that infrared? What is 2.4 GHz frequency? To keep it simple, Radiolink 2.4 GHz or 2.4 G using radio frequency. So, with Radiolink 2.4G, you can go to another room, you've got more freedom of movement around your house and you still will be able to hear the sound, okay? Echolink Pro, using infrared signal, which means the transmitter must see the receiver. So you have to keep line of sight between these two transmitter and receiver, these two units. If you cover the receiver, or if you put the receiver to your pocket, or you will go to another room, the signal will be interrupted. So you will break the signal, and you won't be able to hear it. With Radiolink 2.4 GHz, the signal goes through the wall, but again, up to some certain uh, range, around 20 to 30 meters. Okay, so that's the main difference between these two devices and transmission, okay? Um, and because of this transmission, in Echolink is slightly cheaper than Radiolink 2.4 GHz because this technology is slightly cheaper. However, the quality of sound is really, really great in both. Um, as I said, both of them has this microphone built in into the receivers, so you can use it as a TV listeners, both of them. Um, but also you can take it out and about the receivers if you go into the post office, if you go into the restaurant, if you go into the shop, you can take it with you and you can use it as a personal amplifier. And these features, these features are very, very unique for, for, for this product because other products on the market mainly they will cut the this function when you're going out of the range uh, of the transmitter. It, with our products, it will not happen. You can go, you can go away of the transmitter, you can switch the transmitters off, and you still will be able to use the built microphones in both of them, okay? And another small difference between um, Radiolink and Echolink Pro is the um, echo link we change the microphone button we change the color of microphone button to yellow so it's more visible for um, sight impaired people where a radio link is still black okay also because we couldn't cover anything we couldn't cover the plastic because the plastic in echo link is semi-transparent to be able to send the signal we couldn't use any uh, kind of paint on the plastic. So it's like a standard plastic. I'm sure you can see that. Whereas with Radiolink 2.4G, the surface is covered with nice um, um, rubber surface, which is really nice to touch and, see, and it looks really, really good. Okay, so that's another small difference between them. Um, slightly cheaper, as I said, I think I said that, I call it slightly cheaper because infrared technology is slightly cheaper than the radio link 2.4G. Um, connections the same. Um, when or who should use radio link 2.4G and who should use Echo link Pro or when you should use them. Um, Echo link Pro because it's infrared. Uh, can be used when um, when you've got, for example, a lot of 2.4 gigahertz devices around your home. For example, routers, cordless phone, 
um, you still will be able to use Echolink Pro because it operates in infrared, so different frequency. With Radio Link, it's very unlikely it would interfere, but it could happen that it would interfere with other 2.4 GHz devices around your home. Um, even we using this whole ping technology, which is choosing the uh, channel which is available in your area, it still might happen that you know, but it's like I said, it's very low chance that it will, but it could happen that it, it, it would infer, interfere with uh, other devices. And then, if that happens, you can choose a calling pro. However, if you've got plasma TV, if you've got old style of fluorescent lights, or if you've got a lot of sunlight, like big windows with sunlight, this. Um, this stuff can interfere um, with Echolink Pro, unfortunately. Again, it's very unlikely, but it can. So if that's the case, then we would recommend um, our 2.4G. Uh, so as you can see, you can choose the device which is most, most suitable um, for you, for your house. Uh, depends what kind of devices you have. Obviously, how much you want to spend, because I said Echolink Pro is cheaper. Um, but sound quality with both are great. The batteries 30 hours, both up to 30 hours with headset, so it's also great. Um, similar design, I would say. Um, the same connections with both units, uh, so you should be able to connect them to the old TV and also to modern TV. Um, both units came with the same accessories, so you'll get transmitters, receiver, um, charging base, all cables which you need, which is analog, which are analog cables and also optical cable with both sets. Um, so really everything, what, and power adapters, everything what you need to connect this unit to your TV, um, it's in the set. Okay. So yeah, so I hope it's helpful for you. So you will be able to to decide which model is more suitable for you. Um, and as I said, both of them are on the website. Both of them are available to buy. So yeah, so just go to our website here for you to come. And yeah, and try it today. Um, don't forget you've got 14 days. Um, our return policy is 14 days, so if you order one, uh, if you're not happy or if you're not fully satisfied with Echolink Pro, for example, you can always return it within 14 days. You have to inform us, and then we, if you wish, we can send you a link to Point 4G. So then you can um, check both both um, products uh, and check which one is more suitable for, for yourself. Okay. So that's all for today and hopefully I was I was clear enough. Um, but remember for more information go to our website uh, or give us a ring or 0161 480 or drop us an email to info at hereforyou.com and we will be happy to help. So thank you very much for today and see you next time. Take care and bye bye.